Water and water alone will supply what the body needs. Water is taken from, to try and maintain full blood volume in the veins and arteries, is the lining of the stomach. So the number one vital element needed for life is water. Dr. Barbara O'Neill, a well-respected naturopath and nutritionist, has been a significant figure in the health and wellness community for decades. Known for her holistic approach to health, Dr. O'Neill has always emphasized the importance of natural remedies and lifestyle changes in achieving optimal well-being. Her latest discovery, however, promises to revolutionize our understanding of one of the most fundamental aspects of health, hydration. There's a time to use water and there's a time not to use water. This groundbreaking insight into hydration challenges conventional wisdom and offers new perspectives on how we can better maintain our health through proper water intake. Before we start, hit the like and subscribe buttons for more exclusive news. Hydration is universally acknowledged as crucial for maintaining health. Our bodies are composed of approximately 60% water and this vital fluid is involved in nearly every physiological process. From regulating body temperature to facilitating digestion, hydration is integral to our survival and overall well-being. Despite the general consensus on its importance, there remains considerable debate about the optimal ways to stay hydrated and the exact role water plays in maintaining health. Traditionally, health experts have recommended drinking at least eight eight-ounce glasses of water per day a guideline known as the 8x8 rule. This recommendation, while simple and easy to remember, does not take into account individual differences such as body weight, activity level, and climate. Moreover, the conventional approach often overlooks the sources of water intake, focusing primarily on plain water while neglecting the hydration contributions from food and other beverages. Dr. O'Neill's groundbreaking research sheds new light on hydration, challenging the conventional wisdom and offering a more nuanced understanding of how our bodies utilize water. I've had people complain to me, they say, I'm drinking more water now and now I'm going to the bathroom all day. So I say, are you, are you having the salt? Have a little crystal be before every glass of water. And ideally we should be having approximately eight glasses of water a day. Her findings suggest that not all water is created equal and that the quality and source of hydration can significantly impact our health. Central to Dr. O'Neill's discovery is the concept of structured water. Structured water, also known as hexagonal water, refers to water molecules that are arranged in a more organized hexagonal pattern. This form of water is believed to be more easily absorbed and utilized by our cells, leading to better hydration and improved overall health. Dr. O'Neill's research indicates that structured water can be found naturally in certain foods and environments. For instance, fresh fruits and vegetables, particularly those grown organically and in mineral-rich soils, are rich sources of structured water. We had water coming in through our mango, through our uh, grapefruit, through our... So you see, your fruits and vegetables also supply some fluid. Additionally, natural water sources such as mountain springs often contain higher levels of structured water compared to tap or bottled water. The idea of structured water is supported by various scientific studies. Water molecules typically form a tetrahedral structure, but under certain conditions, they can arrange themselves into a hexagonal lattice. This hexagonal structure is believed to be more compatible with our cellular membranes, facilitating better hydration at the cellular level. The water is not getting inside the cell. The cell is surrounded by what's called a bilayered membrane. This is a double layered membrane. And the water needs help to get into the cell. Researchers have found that structured water can enhance the function of proteins and enzymes in the body, improve nutrient absorption, and support detoxification processes. This form of water is also thought to have a higher energy state, which can positively influence cellular communication and overall vitality. Dr. O'Neill advocates for incorporating more structured water into our diets to achieve optimal hydration and health. One of the simplest ways to do this is by consuming a diet rich in fresh organic fruits and vegetables. These foods not only provide structured water, but also supply essential vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants that support overall health. In addition to dietary changes, Dr. O'Neill suggests other practices to enhance the body's hydration. For example, 
Drinking water from natural sources such as springs or wells can provide higher quality hydration. Using water filtration systems that mimic natural processes, such as reverse osmosis with remineralization, can also improve the quality of tap water. Another crucial aspect of Dr. O'Neill's discovery is the role of electrolytes in maintaining proper hydration. Electrolytes such as sodium, potassium, calcium, and magnesium are minerals that carry an electric charge and are essential for various bodily functions. They help regulate fluid balance, muscle contractions, and nerve signals. Dr. O'Neill emphasizes that proper hydration is not just about water intake, but also about maintaining the right balance of electrolytes. Without adequate electrolytes, our bodies cannot effectively retain and utilize the water we consume. This insight highlights the importance of consuming a balanced diet that includes electrolyte-rich foods such as leafy greens, nuts, seeds, and fruits. Dark green leafy vegetables are also alkaline forming. Dark green leafy vegetables we should be eating every day. That's your kale, that's your parsley. One of the surprising findings from Dr. O'Neill's research is the connection between hydration and digestive health. Proper hydration is essential for the production of digestive enzymes and stomach acid, which are necessary for breaking down food and absorbing nutrients. Dehydration can lead to digestive issues such as constipation, acid reflux, and bloating. By ensuring optimal hydration, in a state of dehydration, the body can take some water from there to maintain full blood volume in the major arteries and veins. And so if I have pain in there, maybe it's called arthritis, but actually maybe it's just a state of dehydration. Particularly through the consumption of structured water and electrolyte-rich foods, individuals can support their digestive health and enhance nutrient absorption. This holistic approach to hydration underscores the interconnectedness of our bodily systems and the importance of maintaining balance for overall well-being. Detoxification is another area where Dr. O'Neill's insights on hydration can have a profound impact. Our bodies are constantly exposed to toxins from the environment, food, and even our own metabolic processes. Proper hydration is essential for supporting the body's natural detoxification pathways including the liver, kidneys, and lymphatic system. Structured water with its enhanced cellular absorption and energy state can improve the efficiency of detoxification processes. By staying adequately hydrated with high quality water, individuals can support their body's ability to eliminate toxins, reduce inflammation, and promote overall health. Dr. O'Neill's research also highlights the importance of hydration for cognitive function. The brain is highly sensitive to changes in hydration levels, and even mild dehydration can impair cognitive performance, mood, and overall brain function. Symptoms of dehydration, such as headaches, fatigue, and difficulty concentrating. Now, isn't it nice if, if you can resolve every headache just with water? But unfortunately, not every headache is just due to dehydration. But I like to use the process of elimination. Let's try water first. Underscore the brain's reliance on adequate water intake. Structured water, with its enhanced absorption and bioavailability, can provide more efficient hydration to brain cells, supporting cognitive function and mental clarity. This finding is particularly relevant in today's fast-paced world, where mental performance is critical for success in both personal and professional endeavors. Our brain cells shrink when they don't have enough water. Headaches are common when we don't have enough water. Negative thought patterns can develop when our brain cells don't have enough water. Our brain is 85% water. From the neck down, we're 75% water. Our brain is a hydroelectric system. No hydro, no electricity. A person can actually develop negative thought patterns in a dehydrated brain. For athletes and individuals who engage in regular physical activity, hydration is a critical factor in performance and recovery. Dr. O'Neill's insights into structured water and electrolyte balance offer new strategies for optimizing hydration in athletic contexts. Proper hydration can enhance endurance, strength, and recovery, reducing the risk of injury and improving overall athletic performance. By incorporating structured water and maintaining electrolyte balance, athletes can ensure that their bodies are adequately hydrated at the cellular level. This approach can help prevent dehydration-related issues such as muscle cramps, fatigue, and impaired performance, allowing athletes to train and compete at their best. 
Dr. O'Neill offers several practical tips for staying hydrated and incorporating her findings into daily life. These tips include 1. Eat a hydration-rich diet. Consume a variety of fresh organic fruits and vegetables that are naturally high in structured water. Foods such as cucumbers, watermelon, and leafy greens are excellent choices. 2. Drink high-quality water. Opt for natural water sources like springs or wells, or use advanced filtration systems that mimic natural processes to improve tap water quality. 3. Balance electrolytes. Ensure adequate intake of electrolyte-rich foods, such as leafy greens, nuts, seeds, and fruits to support fluid balance and hydration. 4. Monitor hydration levels. Pay attention to signs of dehydration such as dark urine, dry mouth, and fatigue, and adjust water intake accordingly. 5. Stay hydrated throughout the day. Sip water regularly rather than consuming large amounts at once. This helps maintain steady hydration levels and prevents dehydration. Dr. O'Neill's discovery marks a significant advancement in our understanding of hydration and its impact on health. Her work opens new avenues for research, particularly in exploring the benefits of structured water and the intricate balance of electrolytes. Future studies may delve deeper into the molecular mechanisms behind structured water's effects and investigate its potential therapeutic applications in various health conditions. The journey to optimal hydration is not just about drinking more water. It's about understanding the quality, source, and balance of the fluids we consume. Dr. O'Neill's findings provide a comprehensive framework for achieving this balance, paving the way for a healthier, more hydrated future. If you liked this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, could you leave your comments below and tell us, what do you hope Dr. O'Neill's discovery reveals? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.